All right, what is up, YouTube? Week eight, another late update um, because I kind of don't really. I'm doing this for me. I'm really just talking to myself. So this is just more for me. I, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna put these videos on private until like I actually decide what I want to do with my channel. Anyways, uh, talking to myself <laughs> and just thinking about what. What exactly I'm doing here? What exactly my do I want to get out of this? So, uh, yeah, I know for if I decide to do this again, I'm definitely going to make it way more structured. That's for sure. I it just trying to like come up with the structure on the fly was I, I jumped into this way too early. I mean, I'd done two 12 week pro things before, but it was just me really just testing out the waters and just seeing if this is like a real thing. And I honestly think it is because I did get better at skateboarding. Am I the best at skateboarding? Hell no. Am I better than I was when I started off? Hell yeah. I mean, I'm, I did stuff that I never thought was possible for me. So, um, but I mean, it's not nothing to be like, wow, like spectacular, like tricks or anything like that. But it's, it was spectacular for me. And that's that's what counts so uh, yeah I do think that there is value in just sticking to something for 12 weeks and you will see progress because I saw progress and that was addicting and honestly it's like I'm taking two two weeks off of skateboarding and first it's like all right it's kind of nice not having to do this <laughs> but now I genuinely miss it I genuinely miss testing myself I genuinely miss the camaraderie that I built with my my coworkers. So yeah, will I add it to my daily routine? Probably not. Will it be part of my weekly routine? Probably yeah. I mean, I, I still enjoy it. I still still like this, you know the people that I met along the way and like the the pushing of myself. Probably won't push myself nearly as hard. I didn't mention this in the other update. I don't know if I even I don't know. But I dropped into an even bigger bowl, sprained my wrist, it was not good. Totally ate it, <laughs> embarrassed myself, but I learned my lesson. And, <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, not for a long time. <laughs> so, not until I build up those, those, that muscle memory of dropping in, just feeling completely confident with myself. But, yeah, so, all in all, I'm feeling more, more okay with just being me. More okay with just doing whatever I want, I guess. Uh, I feel a lot, lot, lot less stressed out than I did before, where I was like, man, I gotta get these videos out, I gotta get these videos out. Because, really, I mean, I'm talking to myself here. Uh, I think people kind of gave up on me watching, or watching me uh, a long time ago, so I don't really care. And, yeah, so, however long this takes for people to catch on or see me doing shit, I really don't care, because... I'm gonna keep doing things on my own anyways, so and it's cool being able to document it and actually see the progress I think that's the coolest part because I I Didn't really see it before until I looked back at my my very first videos that I had of me skateboarding and I was like, oh wow, like that seems so long ago, but it was only 12 weeks ago, so it was cool and yeah, so but from now to the point the end of this project, I, I'm i not going to make like an ad video. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But like, it's just, there's just too much stuff going on that I don't really feel 100% confident. I'm trying to get a different job just so it's more fitness oriented and I could get back into that industry and really dive deep and <laughs> try to move out of my parents' house. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping for that. I, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future, but... If I, just, no, it's not if. When I decide to make another one of these challenges or do another one of these challenges, I do intend on making it way more structured. That's for sure. I want each week to have a specific goal that I have to like overcome. I think that's where I screwed up. Um, it's also kind of where I screwed up in the skateboarding thing. I feel like I could have progressed a little bit further. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy with what I got and the, the way I progressed. But I do feel like I got a little too caught up in doing what everybody else was doing or just I don't know I kind of lost sight of my own structure of like what exactly I wanted to learn and 
kids, uh, there's still things that I was like, man, it's like, I still don't know how to do that. So, uh, but I don't want to do that for, and I, I did the same thing here. Also, I don't want to do one of these projects <laughs> right in the middle of the, the other one. Like trying to start this YouTube channel while also finishing up the skateboarding challenge. It was a bad idea. I'll, I'll admit it right now. That was dumb. I should wait until that one was done. And I put all the energy out for that and then started this. The reality of the situation is I should, have, bleh, I should have started this challenge right now. But I got impatient and was like, oh, I got to do it now. It's like, do it now or it's never going to happen. And now I'm like regretting it because I'm eight weeks in. I think I might even be a week behind. So it, it might even be nine weeks. I really don't know. I think I might accidentally skipped a week. But, see, it's just been crazy just because I've been trying to catch up with everything else. And then uh, when the skateboarding challenge finally ended, I was like, oh, shit, like, I still got to do, like, the video challenges. And I haven't been following up on that. So, yeah, so this is, just, I guess, more of a confession about, like, what's been going on to myself, really. And what I want to do for the future. When I decide that I want to do another 12-week challenge, I want each individual week to have an individual goal that I have to achieve and if I don't reach that goal then it just it should carry over to the next week until I finish it or I don't know I want to get the structure better but first things first is I want to get like a 12 week fitness program uh, semi going I'm reading books on personal training again I'm hoping to get back into to that I know there's a, a gym right next to my work and that's like fingers crossed that you know, I could get a job, I could get a job there with my certification. So then this way, that's like, cause that's going to be the main thing about this channel. It's just improving your, your body. So then you could also improve your mind and, and things in that nature. So, uh, yeah, hopefully more book reviews that are structured also that are very well thought out and, um, more genuine and less rushed. So yeah, I'm, I am happy that I did at least start this, and eight weeks in, I definitely feel more comfortable on camera, more comfortable being myself, that's for sure. So that's, I do see see positives in that. Um, are there things that need improvement? Yes, that is for sure. Do I still believe in this? Yeah, I, I do see value in me trying new things because it gets me out of my comfort zone and it gets me in a state of vulnerability that gets has like I think it's good for if I want to continue personal training it'll help give me more empathy for or sympathy for clients that have never worked out before like you know this is the first time in the gym and however long they're they're nervous about you know getting back in shape so I could relate that to me trying something new and be like hey man I, or girl whatever I'm just as nervous. I got to start this new thing that I told you about. And so we're going to go through the, these struggles together. And uh, I'm going to share with you my experience and you can share, me with, share with me yours. So um, if you stumble across this video, this is, I'm saying it's week eight because uh, fuck it. Like the, the other one was week seven. So whether I missed a week or not, hey, it, it happens. Uh, Deload week, <laughs> this is what I'm calling it. But yeah, I feel, I definitely feel more comfortable with myself and more, more content with who I am. So that's good. And uh, yeah, so all in all, um, I'm definitely going to structure these better. I'm going to try to make this more, more presentable. I'll put more effort into like video production and everything like outside of these these 12 weeks because it was kind of weird making my challenge be like oh we're making a YouTube channel in 12 weeks I guess it kind of worked I guess it kind of doesn't work at the same time I don't know I guess the only time will tell I guess we got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like a month left uh, so I I know prior I felt the exact same way with skateboarding. I uh, around this I uh, said from the seventh to I'd say the ninth or the tenth week I was like screw skateboarding you're no good like why are you even trying and like it's just gonna get harder and harder but 
uh, towards like the 11th through the 12th week, I felt pretty confident, felt pretty good. And like, like I said, I'm not a phenomenal skateboarder, but I did stuff that I didn't think I was I was possible for me. And I pushed past a lot of uh, a lot of fear that I had uh, stored up, like when I first started out. But now I'm not scared of doing those things, so that's pretty cool. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that I'm still scared of, but you know, it just comes in time. If I want to still progress on that, and that's up to me at this point. I'm done with the 12 weeks, but I still kind of like it, and I also help my surfing out, so I can't complain. Anyway, that's uh, that's my update for now. I I hope to be better on schedule. That's another thing. I've been very inconsistent, but now I'm finally getting some break from work, so gonna put more time into just doing what I like to do and hopefully just spreading good vibes and just being a being a better human every day at least I try to be <laughs> anyways it's getting too weird uh, yeah so I'll check in with uh, the audience and myself in the next week all right till next time getting weird <laughs>